either you move your ass, you take action, you do the impossible, or no one else is gonna do it for you. You can lie to whoever you want, but you can't lie to yourself. You know exactly what you what you need to do and what you want to go after and what you want to accomplish. Uh, in everything, we have to pay attention about time. Very, very crucial. Time management is really like thinking of yourself as like the manager, you know, for your own life, really. So. Be ready to change yourself. Be ready to challenge your better self. Know that your mind can develop a passionate winning spirit. Mm. But not by yourself. We guarantee your family in love with your life. And you're gonna love all the grind. Lewis and Barish together we develop your mindset with vitamin C for your mind. Yeah. Don't you settle with what you know. There's much to learn. There's much to earn. Tell yourself I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. Ready to be heard. Out of success and awakening rise. There's so many words that turn into prices. Be ready to change. Change for the best. Step up and be great. Don't be like the rest on uh, Develop your mindset Hi everyone uh, We're back Another Saturday Another Develop Your Mindset podcast Thank you for watching uh, Today is uh, The 50th Develop Your Mindset podcast And this is A small mi milestone for us And achievement I was so happy and glad uh, we're at the 50th one and of course we all know we're all going through a lot of uh, turmoil uh, uh, situation and everything out there a little bit uh, especially Los Angeles downtown we are uh, located it's been really um, uh, right in front of our face uh, down on uh, Hill Street we see a lot of protests a lot of stuff happening everybody's a little bit caught up into it and uh, we've experienced little here start things in the company where uh, I personally wasn't too fond of because I feel like we're um, dropping the ball sort of to speak and uh, lack of uh, better words uh, but that's how we designed this podcast today because I feel like this is happening not only uh, here in, uh, in in the company, but also this is happening a lot of families, a lot of other companies, a lot of uh, between friends and uh, brothers and sisters and that kind of thing. So we want to we want to bring this uh, questions today, bring bring light to uh, because we're. I feel like. Uh, um, um, if we understand what's going on individually we can do much better we can deal with this situation a little bit better especially at home at, at work and at uh, our personal lives which is um, it, it's lacking the balance because of uh, the emotional uh, attachment to all this uh, uh, the, the environment uh, surround us and uh, we should be aware aware of wh where we are what's going on with us if, if we take one stand we should be uh, noticing the other people uh, other family members friends what other stands they're taking uh, you know I've, it, it's it's um, this is not about division talking not at all but this is about uh, personal uh, focus and development and you promise to yourself that you've made and you start uh, you know on your journey and the middle of your journey you start uh, seeing other things happening and then you're losing a little bit of focus a little bit of um, the tension that it needs uh, to keep on going keep on growing and um, yeah it's it's uh, it was a hectic week here th th this week so as you guys know uh, we create a Develop Your Mindset podcast just to sit and talk about what happens with us weekly, how what we go through. This is something we went through, and uh, it was it was it was very emotional. It was pretty heavy, uh, and um, most likely the the podcast was going to sound like that. Um, if you, uh, I, I think this is very beneficial for for all of us and for us to sit and talk about what what happened, what we want, went through. Uh, it's just, um, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and start with the questions. You're going to find out that uh, you're probably going through this or you know someone going through this. Um, and, and hopefully we can sit and have a dialogue about this and talk and uh, just understand that, uh, you know, our, 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 the, the time has, has not stopped. 
and uh, for individual, for us, for for uh, for for what we are working uh, uh, towards, uh, has nothing to do with uh, with uh, with the bigger picture. What's going on outside? This has to do individual. Uh, what what we working towards and what we uh, should do, like stay focused on. I hope I I made my point right. <laughs> I think yeah. yeah. And so so please understand this is has nothing to do with um, size or anything like that. This is individual. This is about me, about about each of us. So um, yeah, I'm gonna thank you, Luis, uh, being here always. And uh, I'm going to allow Luis to say a few words, and then we'll start. Yeah, so it's definitely good to be back. Um, it's good, uh, 50th uh, episode. You know, it's, uh, it's quite of a <laughs> uh, exciting uh, milestone I, uh, to, to be able to hit. You know, that's a 50 podcast. You know, 50 times we've been doing this. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, you know, we've been through quite a lot, actually, with the podcast. You know, a lot of, uh, a lot of things have happened. <laughs> You know, with the recordings, with the equipment, with the audio, it's like we've pretty much dealt with pretty much everything <laughs> that has to do with this. And we're still here, you know, we're still making it happen for you guys, even throughout the entire quarantine time. You know, that was still one of those things that, you know, we still managed to plow through. And yeah, but it's very exciting to be able to, you know, still be doing this. And we're in our 50th episode. And yeah, definitely today's episode, I think, is going to be very personal and very relevant to what's currently going on right now in the world and yeah I mean definitely let's go ahead and get into it all right I'm gonna start with my uh, the the, fir uh, the the questions that we work together me and Luis we're gonna start I'm gonna uh, go ahead and start with uh, stay focused um, don't worry about who said what and mind your own business uh, basically here a um, lot of us a lot of people uh, I know more than two people around me that losing focus, and they're not able to function their normal, uh, uh, which is uh, the normal is not even acceptable. We should we should perform uh, above normal always all the time. We should push ourselves right, and uh, that's that's uh, if you want to be become something, do something amazing. Uh, create something uh, unbelievable you cannot be normal you should be above normal all the time uh, you know and then if you stay you're losing focus from normal imagine that like um, so don't worry about who said what and you know mind your own business is like um, there the, there is this thing where uh, sometimes we lose track sometimes we get into conversations and then we just uh, get sucked into it and it, then you lose you lose your your um, your way to um, to finish your day in a high note and uh, when 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 this happens uh, not only you you pay for it but like your your surrounding your family your company your friends everyone everyone will would not get that 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 day's uh, uh, you know benefit uh, so you have to stay focused you cannot lose focus and then don't worry who said what like it doesn't matter you know what matters is w what I'm working towards and I cannot I cannot lose a day and uh, losing half a day whatever you lose you don't lose anything why why are you gonna lose anything because because you have certain feelings you develop about certain things and then you're 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 like uh, uh, you're you're so emotional about these feelings now. Meanwhile, uh, for a year and a half, you're working your ass off, and then coming to this point, now you start lacking, and then all that uh, work gonna going to go for uh, for for waste, pretty much. You know, if you don't continue, you have to stop, and then you recreate, you to restart, and then that's that's not what you want to do. You know, so. So I think pretty much uh, I said it. Uh, just be careful what you're doing. Uh, you know, don't worry about. Don't pay attention to who's saying what. Do your 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 uh, your um, your promises and then do them good, and uh, just just achieve amazing uh, you know amazing things. And that's how you go forward. Pretty much. Yeah. So 
I think it's it's very um, helpful to acknowledge the fact that we live in a world where you know there's just a lot of people who are trying to rob our attention and that's you know for their own benefit sometimes you know sometimes sure it's uh, it's it's with a good cause you know maybe somebody's trying to get your attention because they're trying to teach you something they're trying to help you out in some way shape or form right but that's not always the case and uh, there's times where you know people just want to steal your attention just so that you know they can uh, benefit from it or maybe they can even profit from your from taking your attention and stuff like that and that's where you should be very careful and very wary because you know you have a mission you have a purpose in life i'm pretty sure and if you don't well you gotta get you gotta get going and make sure you find one but you know assuming that you do have a vision you have a purpose you have something that you're going after you have goals uh, it's very important that you're able to stay focused that way you're able to hit those goals because if you don't stay focused and you you allow external influence to sort of go in there and start to um uh, start breaking down your your focus and your state of mind and your mindset then at that point you know you're gonna start to fall off track and that's really not not what you want you want to stay focused you want to stay in the zone and you want to know exactly what you're supposed to be doing you know for yourself and uh, you know other people try to steal that attention from you and they try to you know they sort of um in a sense you can say this is sort of a um sort of a marketing tactic you know like to to get you to believe that you know their life and what's going on in their little world is more important than what's going on in yours and so then you get drawn in into that and then for for who knows how long you know you start to you know pay more importance to those other individuals or, or those other things that are happening out in the world and you start to forget about yourself you start to forget about your goals you forget you forget you start to forget about your ambitions and stuff like that and that's not good so you know sure there's a lot of distractions and it's it's you know it's usually pretty hard to just stay focused 100 percent but what you can do is actually you know once you start to notice that somebody or someone you know is trying to steal your attention start it's trying to uh, they're trying to like get you to you know get sucked into that you know you have to be very aware of that aware of that and make sure you put a stop to it as soon as possible once you start to realize that you know you're heading that direction little by little you know because it doesn't happen just uh just out of random you know like it it slowly happens it slowly progresses and next thing you know you know you've already spent months you know just uh, focus on that one thing you know and you start to forget about your stuff so make sure you're aware of what's going on and that you're able to you know put yourself back in a place of focus that way you still you know get done what you have to get done yep basically uh, keep on playing your game yeah. don't worry about other people what they're telling you for sure um, you know uh, these days, uh, the, the game is a little bit difficult, a little bit harder, but uh, play professionally, you should be okay, you know? If something you know how to play, if you play professionally, it doesn't matter how hard it gets, you can you still play, you know? Yeah. That's, that's pretty much. Uh, next, uh, you, ma you matter. Nothing else, and um, don't let any, any anyone take your time, as time is valuable. So, so when when you're being called someplace, when you have a place to go and come and perform and do something, you have to pay uh, very good attention to yourself. Uh, and if someone's trying to take your attention now, you have to understand if the, you, you should take time off or how much, how long, because you matter. When you matter, you're, you're being you. you. You're doing the best work that you can possibly do. And uh, nothing, el uh, nothing else uh, matters when you uh, have your you, uh, you focus you know and and don't let anyone take your time people are trying to take your time all the time people are trying to take my time all the time uh, I what I do is like uh, you know for for forever I, I I don't go places I don't go visit people houses I don't go downstairs that much I don't go places I don't call people I don't do certain uh, things that I understand and I know that they, they it's gonna require time and they're gonna take my time from my 
uh, ambitions, my, my journey that I'm on. And uh, time is valuable. Time is not going to come back. You can lose money, you can bring back, you, lo you, you uh, lose a car, you can buy another car, you can do everything, you know, most of the things you can bring back, but you cannot bring time back. We have finite of time, we have short time on this planet, and we're all trying to do the best that we can, and uh, we're all going to uh, uh, go to the other side eventually, the day will come. But uh, until then, when you are working towards something amazing, don't let someone steal your time. So uh, be aware of it. And if that is happening, you have to uh, uh, internal uh, self uh, uh, mechanism that we have that it keeps us um, uh, reminding us to, to stay focused, to, to stay uh, doing the, the thing that we are doing. Uh, pay attention to that internal uh, uh, voice and uh, when you hear uh, that it's uh, you know you're losing time and you're losing uh, your focus uh, react to it uh, don't avoid don't don't ignore it don't avoid it um, so basically here I guess I'm saying uh, pay attention to, uh, to internal uh, don't don't uh, listen out. Uh, 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 how do you say the opposite of it? Like the, the out of uh, out of uh, words coming to you and the stories and everything. Don't worry about them. Just just, just do what you are doing. And um, I'm having conversation with people that they're like, this is the time to do this. This is how I feel. This is where. Meanwhile, their whole life is stand still. And uh, I, I, I don't understand. Like I don't, I don't get it. Like, dude, you, you can't bring this time back. Whatever you're building, continue building. You cannot stop and build something again. You cannot stop and sidetrack and build again. And and that's like crazy. Uh, you. End of the day, you're gonna pay for it. No one else. So, uh, how do you want to pay for it? with your time, then, uh, you, you know, I, I highly uh, suggest uh, to uh, write this thing down, what you really want, what you really need for your future, and, uh, and, and, and wake up every morning and work accordingly, you know? Don't just, don't, don't just do random things because you heard something somewhere that you don't agree on. It doesn't matter, really. So, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, so you matter more than you than you probably think if you're um, if you're not valuing your time, uh, then there's something uh, that you don't um, you you possibly don't uh, you know you don't trust yourself, you don't see yourself as a um, as someone that can achieve big things, you know, because someone who values their time, you know, they know that they're capable of achieving very big things, and so. You know, they try to be very, uh, very specific as to where they, they decide to devote their time to, you know, because they know that time is very finite and it's very precious. And, you know, it's not it's not something that you just want to uh, waste, you know, doing something that's com that's completely uh, <laughs> that's completely uh, irrelevant, you know, to the um, to whatever journey that you're in. So definitely. Um, and like I said, you know, there's going to be other people who are going to try to take your time as well you know just because you know they see the they see the value in you and you know here's the thing like if you don't see the value in yourself then somebody else will see who will find some value for you and they'll they'll make sure that you believe that you're valuable to them only but you're not valuable to yourself so then uh and when you're in that in that paradigm then what naturally happens is that in order for you to feel valuable you're going to go and do you know whatever it is that that other individuals uh telling you to do or something along those lines just to uh it, it's coming from a place of like getting that validation for your own personal value and stuff and that's the very that's a very wrong place to come from you know because at the end of the day you want to value yourself that way if you value yourself then you're going to value your time 
as opposed to uh, letting somebody else control your value and then because they control your value now they can control your actions they can control your time and stuff like that and that's not what you want you want to be able to have control of those things and be able to manage your own time the way that you please as far as um, your journey goes and you know you really maximizing that time and using it to your to your benefit to really advance in your journey yeah yeah so next one don't get sidetracked because no one's coming okay when I say no one's coming to some people they don't understand this and they get a little bit uh, uh, twisted <laughs> It's not, it's not complicated. Seriously, no one's coming. Either you move your ass, you take action, you do the, you do the impossible, or no one else is gonna do it for you. Um, don't get sidetracked. If you get sidetracked, like how, how are you gonna achieve anything? Because, um, if, if you're going to achieve something, it needs complete focus, complete uh, dedication. Um, if someone's uh, miserable and depressed and it'll start sucking your time, hour and a half, two hours, three hours, four hours, and then by the time you come back home or to work to continue uh, doing uh, what you were doing, you lost time, you lost energy, you lost daylight, you lost everything now for you to come back to focus most likely you have to go home and sleep and relax uh, 12 hours later you come back to to start where uh, you left off so don't get sidetracked it's very important you have to you have to tell yourself five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes you're out if somebody start talking some depressing stuff to you uh, if you're not depressed, you're working hard, and someone starts telling you about their problem, about their story, about their uh, downfall, about whatever they're doing, uh, just say yes, I'm sorry, I feel, I feel you, and move on. Like, don't sit there and, th uh, there, this, this is like, uh, we can sit and talk about this for like examples for like forever, but uh, that's enough, and, uh, and no one's coming is, so so important when you start having this kind of mindset you will definitely definitely uh, 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 don't allow yourself to listen to uh, someone's uh, whatever misery you know and uh, and and yeah just just do it good just just when when you're doing something do it good do it finish it like uh, uh, do the best and then uh, the next journey, you know, and uh, yeah. <laughs> that was very well said, man. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, um, to add on to that, I mean, I think you covered uh, pretty well, actually, how what that really implies, you know, to not get sidetracked. But, uh, you know, just to get add on to it, yeah, I mean, no one's going to come and, like, put you back on track if you do happen to slide off your journey and, like, go start heading in the in the wrong direction because here's the thing like nobody nobody will ever get to know you as, as better as you do you know like you you are the person who knows yourself the best and you know what your passions are you know what you really want out of life there is no line there you can lie to whoever you want but you can't lie to yourself you know exactly what you what you need to do and what you want to go after and what you want to accomplish right. and so if you start to go in a different direction um you know people might just think that oh you know that I guess, I guess that wasn't for him you know he just decided to go to something else you know so like whatever you know I guess that that's cool good for him you know but uh you know these people don't know the reality that you're actually going getting sidetracked in that what you really love is this and so sure they maybe your cl closest people might might realize that but for the most part like no one's gonna come and like tell you like hey uh why don't you get back on track you know why don't you get back to what you were what your original passion is you know like why don't you just keep at it you know and so no one's really gonna gonna do that and no one's gonna do it as strong either because mm -hmm. you see most your closest people might might really care for you they really love you and so 
if you just tell them like hey you know what i actually um i actually don't want to pursue this no more maybe because uh, you failed at something you know i felt a lot of pain and stuff who knows they might just be like oh you know yeah you're right you know like they might just agree with you and be like yeah you know that was that was pretty tough you know like maybe you should consider doing something else you know but uh very, very rarely will somebody ever push you you know like as hard as you can push yourself you know so you have to be able to do that for yourself so make sure that you're very self-reliant when it comes to this uh, about staying on track and staying on your journey so that you know you're able to still hit the goals that you need to hit you know yeah awesome that was amazing i thought i thought i said it all he, <laughs> he put another twist to it and perspective that was amazing just that part man you know like if you do it right yeah you, you, you're gonna see some amazing things happening for you uh time management uh no excuse forget forget it you know and uh you're responsible for your time so stay focused and be responsible um this is all this is all like i'm talking to myself right it's individual uh, uh person should should uh, think this way uh time management is very important i used to um I used to not know this when I was younger. I used to lose so much time. Um, and then I, I, I had different kind of uh, businesses wh wh where they were all jewelry businesses, but it was like uh, different kind of clients, different kind of era, different kind of time. So they all required a little bit different way of treating my customers, the way I ran my business. One time, this one, this one company that I uh, created a, and I ran, it was like it needed so much attention to just go get jobs and then sit down and work and write invoices, which is uh, that was insanity. It was stupid. I would never do that again. But I didn't understand about time management. I didn't understand I was losing so much time, so much energy, where I could not bring it back. And then it would be five o'clock. Finally, I'll be sitting on my desk. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna work and make some money now. And then I would push myself until nine, ten o'clock, exhausted. Next day, do it again. It's uh, so you have to recognize where you're putting your time. Time management is important uh, in everything. We have to pay attention about time. Very, very crucial. Uh, no excuse. Basically, don't tell any stories. No one, no one cares. No one's coming. No one's gonna hear your stories. Uh, if you telling the stories, you're giving excuses to yourself that why uh, it was uh, uh, it was okay to whatever happened, and uh, you know, end of the day, you're gonna be the loser if you don't fix yourself. Uh, if you stop giving excuses, you start working on uh, your situation. You're gonna have better outcome, better situation, and uh, you're responsible for your time. And of course, we all are responsible for our time. We can uh, spend our time uh, frugally, or we can spend our time. Uh, what is the opposite? The, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, not caring. So, um, pay attention how you're spending your time because the time is not coming back. It's something that it's always moving, always going forward. So, you're um, you can put yourself into the future, but the time will will cut up with you and uh, it will pass you too. So um, put yourself in the places where it's gonna matter. When the time caught up with you, you have some kind of achievement there. For your time, so stay focused and be responsible. So you have to have some kind of responsibility, some kind of ethics, some kind of uh, promises to yourself that this is what I want. We all know what we want, we all know um, what kind of car we want, what kind of house, what kind of bed we want to sleep in, what kind of vacations we're going to go, or what kind of uh, bank account we want to have. So if, if you manage your time and then you spend it correctly, your, your bank account will show, your car will show, and you have a beautiful, comfortable bed to sleep in too, and maybe a king size too. And uh, so it's very important pay attention to your time management there's a bunch of books out there you guys can go read and understand what this is i i i'm not going to put too much emphasis on it i just want to put this out there 
to uh, so we all sit and really think about this deeply um, because this is such an important uh, thing uh, where we're trying to grow as a human, as a company, as a, uh, becoming father and grandfathers and you know go through life. Yeah, we have to manage time. Yeah, so definitely like time, time management is really like thinking of yourself as like the manager, you know, for your own life really. So really knowing um, in order for time management, in my opinion, for it to be effective, you have to know exactly what you're going after. That way, you know exactly what you have to do every single day and all of that stuff, you know, everything throughout your day at the end of the day contributes to something to your main purpose or your main vision, you know, but if you don't have that, then it's kind of a, it's pretty tough to do any time management because you don't know exactly what to put where, you know, like you, there's just no, uh, there's no plan, there's no uh, vision, there's nothing to go really after. So then like uh, you sort of allow your time to just be uh, spent like reactively as opposed to proactively where you proactively, you know, you do activities that are going to push you forward instead of just reacting and waiting for something to happen and always waiting for um, for that next thing to just happen so that you put your time there or you put your time there and you're just sort of like letting like the exterior sort of control your time as opposed to when you have a vision when you have a purpose you really don't uh, you really don't allow that if it's very serious for you because now you know exactly what you're going after and so you're going to manage your time appropriately so that you um you put things you put activities throughout your day that are all in congruency to your your vision and your purpose ultimately and that's really how you um how you uh, make uh, time management very effective and yes you know at the end of the day you are responsible for this because there's nobody who's gonna like we said you know no one's coming no one's gonna come here and uh and tell you like hey you gotta go and do that you gotta go do this and this and that and that you know you gotta do this first then do that you know you gotta push yourself here and stuff like that like nobody's gonna be there like right next to you every single time to to tell you that so you have to like in a sense like i said become your own manager and make sure you manage yourself accordingly depending on what uh what purpose you have and you know don't make any excuses for it either you know you have to uh, whatever has to get done make sure you get it done even if you don't feel like doing it still do it anyway you know like mm -hmm. it's better to just to do it in a um your emotions don't always have to be in line with mm -hmm. what has to get done you know sometimes you may there's something that you might want to do you are feeling like you are feeling a little sad or maybe you're feeling angry do it anyway you know and it doesn't matter like you you just have to do it anyway and then um you know eventually those emotions are going to go away and stuff but that time it's not going to come yeah. back you know like so you have to consider that as well you're going to left with the results yeah. If you push yourself anyway, you're gonna have more results than uh, you don't. So um, it's 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 mm -hmm. yeah, just just do it. Um, time management. You must have the ability to see that you're the wrong and fix it. So it's very important to understand you. You have to study you. You have to learn who you are. What are you working for, towards? And you have to create this, build this ability, this, this uh, intelligence to start seeing, you know, what you're doing is right or wrong. Uh, is it gonna be beneficial or not, of course. Um, so this is something I, I, I heard it growing up from my father a lot, uh, that uh, I, I did not understand. He wasn't the, the person that uh, was able to explain everything, uh, how what he meant. But he was able to tell me about life, and he, you know, I would, I'm grateful for that, and I'm thankful for that. But um, you know, you, um, uh, uh, this is something. W uh, the word is ability because um, uh, some people don't have this at all. Some people are very, very not strong at this point, but. We can uh, study this. We can uh, uh, learn this, and then we can. It's a it's a behavior. You know, you've learned to have the ability uh, create that to start. Uh, you know, seeing, especially when you're wrong, you have to see. When you when when you when I see I'm wrong, you know, I stop. I ask myself. I 
uh, uh, I, I question myself and I put myself into this place where I'm studying me like what did I say what was the trigger what triggered me uh, was it the person uh, triggered me or was it was it something I believe in or or you know I missed the point the trigger point and I reacted and what's going on so I have created this ability to question myself to to study me uh, on, on that topic and and find find where where I'm wrong and then I I want to fix myself you know uh, I don't have this thing happening all the time but uh, uh, frequently this happens and uh, I'm aware of it and when it happens I immediately go to work on myself and uh, try to understand fix it and get out of it and if I have to do some more work out outside of myself uh, and I will get get to that work and make sure if I hurt someone I tell them I hurt you I'm sorry uh, I didn't see the, the, the cue what happened and how how uh, what triggered me and if I have to uh, put more time to create something whatever I have to do right so um, pretty much uh, develop ability to uh, see uh, if you're wrong and then fix it yeah so I think um this is something that I actually worked on uh, very, very, very hard uh, <laughs> a couple years back, and uh, and now I feel like I've gotten pretty good at it. And that that's the reason why that even happens is because, first of all, I believe it's not enough to just uh, you know look at the fact that you have the ability because you do have the ability. But on top of that, I feel like you have to remove what's getting in the way of you even. Uh, bringing out that ability and working on that ability in the first place and I think that's really it comes down to the ego because the ego is very um it's like this protective layer that's preventing you from actually admitting uh, when you're wrong and to really see the fact even consider and ponder the possibility that you may be wrong because the ego always wants to be right the ego always wants to uh, put you in a place where you know you are the, the the center you know you are the, the the main character here and you're always you know the, the good guy in every single situation mm -hmm. and that you're never you're, ne you're never the villain you're never the wrong person you're never in the wrong and stuff like that and so this ego you know if you let it really control you you'll never be able to even tap into that ability to see that you're wrong so in a sense if I feel like it takes some courage to really get in to step into that zone and be like okay you know what perhaps I am wrong Maybe I did, you know, do something wrong here and there. And, you know, at that point, you have to take responsibility in order to fix it. But in order for you to take responsibility, you have to first notice it. You have to be, you have to accept that you're wrong in the first place. And so, yes, this does take some courage, especially if you... If you've been letting your ego really dominate you all these years and let it control you and let let yourself always see yourself like you're the you're always in the right, you know, just because I don't know for some reason you always feel like you're in the right. Uh, you know, ha having that ability to be able to see that you're in the wrong, it really takes a lot of uh, it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of courage. But once you do it, believe me, this is something that can really help you out a lot in your journey because at that point you become responsible for whatever wrong that you did and then you can actually fix it and the only and by fixing it you're actually improving yourself you're working on yourself but if you don't you don't take responsibility then you never really work on yourself you're letting the ego always control you and so you're always stagnant you stay the way you are because in your mind there's really nothing for you to fix you're already perfect in your mind and everything you do is right and there's really nothing that should be changed about you and so you never change you never grow and this is really like you're really preventing yourself from really expanding and being the best version of yourself which is what this podcast is all about so definitely this is something that you're gonna have to really work at and definitely i recommend that you end up even mastering this to some degree because you know it's it's important it's important that you that you master this and that you understand it that way you're you're very open-minded as to you know how you can improve and how you can change so yeah nice ability is amazing important uh, don't give more value 
to someone more than they deserve. This is something I learned, I heard it growing up nonstop all the time. Don't, don't take your eye off the target. It is very important, it is, a, it is very uh, essential. So let's come back uh, to don't give more value to someone more than they deserve. That, that means don't forget yourself. Don't put yourself in, uh, under the bus, under some rock or something, and just like give value to someone. Oh, how good you are, how great you are. I wanna be your friend. Uh, can you please be my friend? And you know, please work with me, for me, or please let me play from your team. You know, certain point, you, if, if you're good, and someone is not, not recognizing your value, you, you're probably uh, in the wrong place because uh, um, they probably don't even deserve it, you know? Give yourself more value than you give others because um, if we don't feel uh, positive, we don't feel good, we don't, we, we're not, um, um, what is the word? Like if, if, if we don't give value to ourselves and and work hard on ourselves and then even after we finish working hard on ourselves uh, we must recognize that and realize that we are pretty good now and then we have to go out there and put our self out there and then um, find out how good we are what else we're gonna work on so there is there is a value you created and uh, now so, so many times we forget about all this and then we go give others more uh, attention more value like they're better than us and like uh, literally people see that that's how they see them uh, this and um, you have to remember uh, that you are uh, also valuable as valuable as everybody else and uh, don't see yourself that you're not capable only thing is you probably didn't study about that and you're not, uh, you don't know as much as that person knows just because that person's been studying more than you. Uh, uh, oh, what I'm trying to say is like, uh, don't undermine yourself. Uh, don't give uh, value to someone uh, more than uh, they, they, sh they deserve or they should get. And uh, you know, uh, don't take uh, your eye off the target. Um, you know that means you have certain uh, ambitions and certain things that you're going after, and you are in this path of getting there. And then uh, you know, uh, you whatever it takes, you're gonna do it. You're gonna study. You're gonna uh, find people. You're gonna work hard. You're gonna uh, buy new equipments and whatever it takes. You're gonna do it to. Uh, get there, uh, you know, uh, in one piece. So uh, don't get sidetracked again here, you know, and uh, start uh, paying attention to others, what they're telling you, what they're trying to feed you, and uh, and and uh, start uh, uh, believing all these uh, new new things where it doesn't help you to get where you want to get. Uh, so yeah, um, in short. Uh, you know, uh, don't give more value to someone uh, more than they deserve. So, yeah. So I think it's definitely uh, important that, as we said, with the time, you also you know learn to manage your value and how you you know spread that around. Um, I included this actually in that in that book we've been uh, writing. Uh, <laughs> The, ten, the 10 stages to skill mastery where I sort of share how um, you know you as a person you carry a certain amount of value and that value is sort of composed of the skills that you have and you know everything that that you've uh, really the experience that you've picked up throughout the years you know and so eventually at this point you know you're using that experience you're using all your value you know to propel yourself to get to where you want to get to but then um there comes a time you know where other people would like to have some of your value in order to you know sort of advance in themselves you know advance themselves 
And I mean, this is perfectly fine. You know, there's a lot of uh, people out there who are giving away their value and that's with uh, good intentions. You know, you see instructors, you see educators online, they're giving away value and stuff like that. And so it's, that's perfectly fine. But like, there comes a, there's gotta be a balance. There's gotta, you gotta be able to measure that out and see like, okay, like how much uh, value can I put out to such a degree where, you know, that value is, is good. But, you know, like, I don't want to compromise my own, the own value that I need to use, you know, to push myself. Because once I start to put out more for these other individuals than I put into myself and my own journey, then, um, then you, by definition, you start to lose value because now you're... Um, your value is not being reflected on 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 those people instead of yourself, and so this isn't uh, this isn't gonna end very well if you really think about it. Because now you're you you start to lower and lower and lower in value because you're not investing that value into yourself, and so yeah, like uh, really try to maintain a good balance between your between how much value you give and how much value you devote to your own journey. And yeah, I mean, like it says right here, don't take off your eyes off the target, you know, because uh, that's really where um, where it's all at, you know, it's the target, and that's really where um, where you're headed. And so you always want to stay focused and stay uh, stay committed to whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish in life. And so the only way to really do that is to devote as much value as you can as possible. All right, value, very value is very important, crucial. Um, this is all uh, individual um, well-being also you have to learn the skills sometimes you know you, uh, you, you a lot of us were not born with this kind of knowledge but uh, you know if your parents help you uh, definitely your, your school's not going to teach you this or your, your friends this is something your internal work it's going to require so um, next, I'm going to talk really short, really uh, right on point, which is uh, short life and stay focused and humble, which is all these points are very, very real. Um, take it real. Don't, don't take it as a, you know, um, you can change this or you can, you can think about this a little bit differently. Take it literal. Uh, it is short life. Uh, don't wait until 65 years old to realize that it's a short life. Realize when you're 20, um, you know. Focus, don't lose focus, stay focused, practice, uh, whatever it takes, do more meditations, do whatever it takes to teach yourself to learn how to stay focused. Uh, and, um, and stay humble, which is like thankful, you know, be grateful. Uh, every morning I wake up, I open my eyes, I'm like, wow, I'm here again. Let's do it again, you know? I get, I get, uh, I'm humble about uh, how amazing it is. Uh, when I was sleeping, I was breathing, my body was breathing, and I open my eyes, I'm back, have energy to go uh, another whole day, and that's amazing for me. Um, so basically, um, I was gonna say something about focus, which is like, um, I feel like focus is very essential. Yes, uh, I was talking to my friend the other day. He was asking me a question about how you're doing the company, how you staying, uh, you know, um, knowing what you're doing. I, I told him like, listen, I have a target. I stay focused to the target. It doesn't matter what happens to me, it doesn't. You come scream next to me, you fucking like slap me, you push me around, you hit me. I'm not gonna take whatever's happening to my body. I'm almost like a robot, robot. Just my, my eyes on the target. I'm not gonna take my eyes off of the target. I don't care who's screaming what, who's tell, selling me their idea. It doesn't matter. Uh, you cannot take my eyes off of my target. If you do that, then you're gonna uh, you're gonna get there faster because uh, you you like like earlier you said you can't be getting off the road coming back on the road yeah. you know getting sidetracked it's not gonna uh, do it it won't do it um, so yeah very pretty much self-explanatory it's a short life and stay focused and humble yeah so 
Yeah, that's pretty simple there. It has a short life and uh, we just not, don't know like how long our life is gonna be. So we have to treat it uh, as though it's short and we have to enjoy every single second of it. And the re really the best way to really enjoy that is to be pursuing a, a purpose and be pursuing something that's gonna fulfill you at the end of the day and make you happy. And at the same time, you know, be able to contribute and share whatever experience you gain along the way. And of course, you know, attaining the result with, you know, other people. And so the people you want to help out at the end of the day. So uh, definitely, in the, and in order for you to get that, you know, you're going to have to stay focused. That way you're still, you know, you're always doing what you have to do. You're, you're very, uh, you know where the goal is, you know where uh, you're supposed to go. And at the same time, you know, you stay humble, meaning that you um you still help out others when you when you have the ability to. And also, you're very open-minded. You're open to new ideas, and you're open to people actually helping you out throughout your journey. You're not stubborn and egoistic about your entire journey because you recognize that you don't know everything. And there's other people who do, and it's good to listen to other people once in a while because... You know, that's how you improve, that's how you gain new knowledge, and that's how you're able to take a new action that's going to get you new results. And so that's really what you're really looking after. So really, you know, appreciate the time that you have right now and make the most out of it every single day because you just never know. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I just wanted to put this out there for you guys. Uh, as, as you know, we are a jewelry company. We do our own personal uh, handmade designs and jewelry, and we have a website, Kabartzi. Please visit uh, if you guys are interested to see what we make, how we make stuff, and then uh, that would be cool. Um, so next, just because how you thought the ending was going to be, control yourself and the words coming out of your mouth. So a lot of us, we have emotions and sometimes the emotions get best of us. And we have to be, we have to learn how to control our emotions, uh, our disappointments. Uh, that's not, that's a big, uh, like you said earlier, our ego, how to control our ego. Yeah. Disappointment is another word as uh, crucial, as powerful as ego getting hurt. Uh, a lot of people they get disappointed and they get sh they shut down and you can't you can't talk to them anymore they're they're not there anymore emotionally mentally physically is there but they're not there you know and that's not a good quality being a being a mom imagine you shut down you not take care of your kids and stuff mm -hmm. being being a um, important person in the company shut down what happened everyone's losing it now you know um, being friend and shut down what the hell like what kind of do I have a friend no, like your your uh, your mind goes so many places now like how I can fix this but in reality you can't fix anything it's not your problem that individual has some kind of problem if you are that individual you have to ask yourself uh, you know, is this my ego, or it's uh, you know, um, I'm I'm hurt and uh, uh, I don't know how to express myself, and I'm gonna shut down now. You know, so so this is one thing you have to um, be wary. Uh, so uh, control yourself, and the words coming out of your mouth is. Uh, sometimes I get really emotional. I get my buttons pushed, and uh, I say a few things that uh, it's not that I regret, but maybe I could have said it a little bit differently. Um, it's very, very. This this happens in our minds, in, in our brains, very, very fast, very quickly. We can we can choose words, uh, how to express ourselves. Words are, after all. Uh, expression of your feelings and your your thoughts um, as we know the same words you could use it in a different place and it means different something different uh, so um, it's very important to control the words coming out of your mouth and um, um, if, if you can take a, a split a seconds in between uh, your expressions uh, with words that would be very beneficial for you and
for the other person too, actually. Uh, and uh, you should uh, uh, you should get really good at this game because uh, words w uh, it's it's almost like you're playing a chess or you're playing soccer or you're playing football. You know, uh, one move could make you win the ga game or lose. So um, yeah, pretty much there. For sure. Yeah. So yeah. So. Yeah, so the, how the thought, the ending was going to be, um, yeah, I mean, in life, you know, not everything's going to go the way you would want it to, you know, no matter how hard you try, no matter how, how good you are, eventually there will be times where you will make mistakes, there will be failure, and sometimes, you know, there's going to be things that are out of your control that will make your, whatever, your project or whatever it is that, that you wanted to do is going to make it go wrong, and, uh, and you're just going to have to accept this, this is the reality of life, and you know, you just have to, um, you have to really get in tune with your emotions and, you know, you can feel free to check out that podcast we made about emotional intelligence, but, uh, that, that podcast will really went deep into like controlling your emotions and getting in tune with them and understanding them. But I think it really applies here, uh, very massively. So definitely learning to control your emotions will help you, uh, you know, not be so impulsive when you're about to, uh, answer back to someone maybe somebody uh you know did something and then they uh they um they exploded or something and or they said something that you didn't really like so it's very important that you're able to control yourself and really really think about like what what your goal is and really have a very solution oriented mind you know like really try to get to a solution when when there's a, a conflict between you and somebody else because of course you know keeping in mind that you want to actually keep that relationship going and moving forward you know if if you have no interest in keeping that relationship forward going forward then then you can just end it there there's no really no point of uh you know trying to hurt the other person and others and stuff like that that's just uh that that's just uh pointless really but if you really want to make it work and you're willing to um get to a solution then get to a solution you know have a very solution oriented uh mindset you know and just by having that mindset of always being very solution oriented that by default will will already help you control the words that come out of your mouth because uh what you're saying is coming from a place of wanting to fix things you know as opposed to you know maybe you just want to release your emotions you want to let the other person know that you're angry and stuff like that so in that case you know you may just blast the other person and stuff and go like full out like crazy mode you know and that's that's not a very solution oriented uh, mindset there that's just you wanting to release your emotions and wanting to let the other person know and uh and who knows man maybe you're in a different mindset maybe you're in the mindset if you want to hurt the other person and then you know the words that come along with that mindset are not going to be very nice and so you're going to just want to hurt the other person so just put yourself every time um you know you get into a conflict with somebody always uh get into that mindset of solution or until okay you know let's get to a solution here let's go ahead and uh you know let the other person talk of course let them uh express how they feel and of course, you know, you do the same and there should be a mutual respect for letting each other know how you guys are feeling. You know, there shouldn't be this, uh, you know, like this, um, this mindset of where like, you know, you can't be honest with the other person. So there should be that level of honesty where the two of you can express themselves very honestly. And then of course, you know, after, you know, there's a mutual understanding, a mutual respect there, then of course, you know, go for the solution oriented uh situation here where you guys can both reach a solution so definitely that's something that to consider yeah uh, so this was pretty uh, important um, if you guys have any uh, experience about disappointment and how you handle disappointment and what do you uh, how do you come out of this being disappointed please leave uh, comments down below i would love to hear your story um, Next, finish what you started and don't worry about what everybody is doing and saying. Basically, if you have a responsibility, do it. Do it fast, do it quick, don't lose time, don't lose uh, 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 you know, track and uh, keep on doing what you were doing. Come back to what you were doing, you know, don't just go and disappear and uh, when you come back the day is over and uh, everybody else was waiting on you and uh, you know you uh, you just uh, not only 
uh, didn't do what you were supposed to do, but everybody else wasn't able to go forward because we're all connected to each other anyways. So um, this is where uh, when you do something, go, finish, give, take, whatever you have to do. And uh, don't worry about uh, uh, what everybody's doing or saying. Don't worry, seriously. Worry about yourself, worry about your company, worry about your family, and uh, make sure you're good. And uh, pretty much, uh, if you do this, then you're going to be in a much better place. And uh, you're going to go forward from that day on uh, to the next day. And just keep on fighting, keep on f uh, working forward towards uh, freedom. You know? Yeah, so um, finish what you started, right? Yeah, it's very important that you actually, um, let, I think I've said this previously, that it's a very good uh, habit to to build up, you know, to always, uh, whatever it is that you start, always finish it, you know, of course, you know, here, here's the thing, like, you don't always have to finish it, like, like, it has to be perfect and everything, mm. not, not everything, but at least finish it, you know, like, of course, you know, there's going to be a few things that, that you will want to perfect, and that's really the ones that are connected to your passion and stuff like that, and the ones that really matter to you the most, you know. But there's going to be a few things that you might start, and it's just because you're curious or it doesn't really matter to you. You just want to experiment something here and there. And even those things, you know, you still want to finish them, even if you just finish them in a way where it didn't really matter. But always, you know, whatever you start, finish it, and, you know, go and move on, you know, do, do whatever the next thing is, you know. But always, uh, Whatever you start, you finish. Don't leave things incomplete because then, uh, then this leaves a lot of incomplete stuff in your life, and then it's just gonna be roaming in the back of your head, being like, "Oh, you know, I wish I would have just finished that, and I wonder how it would have uh, ended." You know, but uh, <laughs> you always want to finish that, and um, yeah, I mean, don't worry about what everybody is uh, is doing and saying. Like, stay on your journey, stay on, stay focused on whatever it is that you're doing, because you know, ultimately, that's really what matters. You know, that you that you're ultimately doing whatever it is that, that that you originally planned to do and that, you know, you have your target set and make sure you're always staying on track, you know, and, like, people will try to distract you. Like we spoke in the podcast, people will try to distract you. They will judge you. They will probably tell you things that may not sound very nice just to uh, get you to stop or make you, uh, they're, they're trying to, like, uh, uh, you know, just compromise all the hard work that you've already done. They want to, like... Uh, you know wreck it and you make some chips here and there to your little uh to all the to the tower that you've been building so far you know they want to chip out some uh some of the progress you've made and like that's just normal that's something that you can't really control and so you just got to stay focused and keep going two words energy vampire <laughs> that's really that's real it exists when you meet this energy vampires move on <laughs> hit, hit the exit uh, so you don't you, you, you don't have to go through uh, losing time and like uh, feeling sorry and just like it's 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 horrible it's it's not good uh, yeah the, there's a lot of energy vampires out there and uh, we we all know we all came across uh, if if, if uh, ask yourself which side you are on and uh, try to figure out Either don't do it or don't get uh, uh, um, your energy sucked. So, the last uh, question here. Develop your mindset about your dream and don't look back. As we know today, 50th, number 50, five zero, Develop Your Mindset podcast. So excited. This was very uh, good. Uh, podcast I feel really good about this one and uh, we're gonna I'm gonna close it we're gonna close it with this question because every time we put the uh, develop your mindset because this is what the podcast is about so the today it's gonna be develop your mindset about your dreams and don't look back that means if you do everything we talked about if we individually follow these steps and promises that we do ourselves and we don't lose time we don't uh, get sidetracked and we don't do stuff that not going to help us to grow as a individual and uh, to become the better version of you 
you have to develop your mindset about what is important. Uh, what's important here is your dream and make sure you follow your dream, you work on your dream, make your dreams come true and don't look back. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just to uh, end this here, um, definitely, um, yeah, so your your time is, um, like we said, you know, your time is very short-lived. You know, you just we just don't know how much time you, you have left here. So it's very, very important that you just focus on the things that matter to you, you know, because uh, the last thing you want to do is start focusing and start wasting time in, in things that don't matter, things that are just irrelevant to your journey, irrelevant to your passions, you know, because that, that, that's, not, that's not you enjoying your life. That's not you enjoying, like, going after what you want and going after fulfillment, going after happiness. That's just you uh, getting sucked into somebody else's agenda, and that's, uh, that's not a very good way to live life because you, you're never really in control of... Um, of your emotions you're never really in control of your life and so yeah definitely you have to develop your mindset around your dreams because those are the ones that matter you know everybody has this everybody has uh, the particular things that matter to them and um but not everybody has the courage to really pursue that you know to pursue their dreams you know most people i'm pretty sure everybody watching this video and everybody really has dreams and they have passions they have things that they really love but not a, lot of, not, not a lot of those people actually go after and take action and go after those things. So you have to be able to take that courage and go after the things that you want and never look back. You know, once you make a decision, once you commit to something, make sure you go all in and, you know, you take action. You know, sure, you're going to have your ups and downs. There's going to be days where you're really good and your your success is skyrocketing. And then there's days where you're, you're just going to plummet. You're going to have a failures go through your life. But uh this is really the journey and you have to uh, commit to it, commit to the good and the bad. I mean, yeah, to the, to the good and the bad, but like at the same time, like enjoy yourself because they're both part of the, they're both part of the journey and, you know, growth and, and success can't really exist if those two don't, uh, are not part of it, you know, so, so yeah. The story is going to be told <laughs> in the end. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for uh, being uh, all the way through uh, and, and, and hearing these points. Uh, this is something that has happened this week and this is all uh, how we feel about this, we, uh, this is how we understand it, this is how we are de developing our mindsets about this and we talked about it and uh, if you guys have any other point of views please leave comments down below, we would love to hear your points. Uh, if we missed anything let us know if you like please let us know again um, uh, next week we'll have another one uh, we're um, very thankful and grateful that you watch all the way through and uh, please don't forget to leave comments down below thank you yeah so thank you very much for for watching this episode um 50th episode once again we gotta be very proud of that and uh <laughs> we're very happy to have been able to make it to this 50th episode and you know we're gonna be very happy when we make it to the 100 one man <laughs> i can't wait <laughs> we should start doing two uh, every week <laughs> so we get there faster yeah right <laughs> that's like 50 weeks Woo! Yeah. yeah but yeah i mean uh it's very exciting and yeah i mean i hope you you were able to learn a lot like we said at the beginning this is a very personal one and uh we hope you you were able to learn a lot from it and so if you have any questions make sure you leave them down below and um there's going to be links down below so you guys can check out our, our social media so you, and you can check out uh, all of our other resources as far as like everything else that we've done and there will, there will also be a link to the website of um of our jewelry uh, website which is uh, kabarti.com you're going to find the link down there so you guys can check out the jewelry that we sell here at the company and yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it was exciting to be here once again, be able to share all this knowledge with you guys. And, uh, awesome, yeah. awesome. Thank you, Luis. Yeah. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Appreciate it. See you next week. See you guys.